Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to talk to you about four ways you can manage leaf spot and diseases on your tomato plants. This also works for peppers and other plants, but I want to focus on the tomato plants. This is a leaf spot. You can see the brown dots and the yellowing that's occurring around the brown dots and the yellowing on the leaf. This is an active outbreak right now in this particular area. When you come over to this plant, you can see the brown dots but you can see how the plant is no longer yellowing around them. This has actually been treated and managed. And it looks like in some cases, you know, I have leaf spot really about this time I start getting early blight. And you can tell the difference between a leaf spot sometimes is that it's just a brown spot. If you look, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but there's concentric brown rings in some of the spotting area, and sometimes that's a sign that it's early blight. Either way, this kind of spotting can be treated with baking soda. I've talked about this before, and there's videos on how you make it, but it's basically one or two tablespoons per gallon of water. And before you try any of these sprays, I want to tell you, you must test spray any new spray on your plants, which means spray a couple of leaves or an area, wait 48 hours, make sure it doesn't damage them. But you can pre-treat and prevent leaf spot and early blight from getting on your plants by using baking soda. What it does is it changes the pH level on your tomato plant. And what that does is it makes it hard for the fungus to really get started on your leaf. And what you want to do is start this a couple weeks before the disease arrives in your area. You can also add neem oil, adding an oil spray, sometimes smothers fungus spores and makes a difference. I've used Serenade for the first time this year and it has been doing wonders. It can stop an outbreak. Baking soda can't really I don't think stop an outbreak. It can slow it down and it can stop it from establishing. But Serenade has stopped it from spreading and I've used it in this garden. I was originally using it in my um, community garden as a test and I got good results. Uh, and Serenade is, I believe, I don't, yeah, it can be used for organic gardening. So baking soda, neem oil, Serenade, organic gardening. Dacanol is not an organic product but it is also effective and why am I showing you several different ways? Because I don't know what you might have available in your area. I'm also going to talk to you about pruning. You can see how these tomatoes have fallen over. Let me show you over here the use of Serenade. This is my, what is this? Oh my lord, I just lost the name. Anyway, it's a bush cherry and down at the bottom all those dead leaves are leaves that had leaf spot. There's no longer yellowing around it. It's been taken care of and stopped with the serenade and the upper leaves are looking really, really good. So what I'm going to do is I again want to talk to you about the pruning and staking because these tomato plants need to be taken care of. I'm going to show you how I uh, take care of them and then I will talk more about you, talk more about how you use these sprays in your garden. I've mentioned before, one of the things you want to do for pruning is to remove leaves from the bottom, which I've done. Also mulch, and this creates a barrier to really stop or slow or hopefully totally prevent diseases from splashing up. But even so, you still can get diseases that float in the air like this leaf spot. The reason that you want to stake your tomatoes is because they will just become heavy with the weight of the tomatoes and the vines will fall over from the weight of the tomatoes and break. And that's, you know, simply put, that's the reason you want to stake your tomatoes up. The tomatoes were pruned lightly and they were staked. And because the spots on here, and I can't tell you, it's looking more like an early blight to me, but either way, like that in there looks more like leaf spot. That back there on that leaf looks more like early blight. Those are two diseases I get. So it's always important to know what comes to your garden and when it comes. And then I'm going to talk about spraying ice in about a second. So remove the leaves that look mostly infected actively. So the, if these had yellow rings, I would remove a lot of these leaves. But I think this spraying about a week ago took care of a lot of that. I, I um, tied up the tomatoes that were falling over. You want to keep them off the ground and just really support the plant. And I took out a lot of leaves that had the active spots with the yellowing around the spots because that's an active fungus. 
So, spraying. That's a two gallon container, which I recommend if you have a large garden. This way you don't have to really redo it. Baking soda and neem oil, I'm going to use next year preventatively. So, my strategy for next year is to start spraying two to three weeks before the diseases come to my garden. I'm going to use the serenade if I see an outbreak. And I'm going to use the Dacanol if needed. I think that's maybe a little bit stronger. If you get a really bad large outbreak, you want to save, save your crops. But strategy-wise, I really think I'm going to go down to baking soda and neem and serenade. But it's always good to have a backup plan so you don't lose all your crops if something happens. To spray, pretty simple. Follow the directions. The serenade, I think, is four tablespoons per gallon to eight tablespoons per gallon. And you would use more if you have a large breakout, I think. So this is a follow-up spray. I sprayed last week. It's starting to get everything under control. You want to make sure that you soak the leaves just like I did. That's the outside. But then you also need to come underneath, spray the fruit, and get under the leaves because the fungus and disease can hang out there. Also, soak the stem and the ground around it. And I will go around all my tomatoes today and basically do this process. That will give it a organic um, fungicide to prevent the spot or the early blight from really continuing and taking over my tomatoes. And you can see lots of tomatoes in there. I mean really large green tomatoes, some orange ones back there. They're starting to turn. I've got tomatoes I picked out of there. If you have any ripe tomatoes or nearly ripe tomatoes, pick them off before you spray. And even though it's organic, you know, you don't want to eat anything you don't need to eat. Another tip is be careful on how many leaves you take out because if you expose your tomato to full sunlight, they can get sun scald. But these are the products again that I'm, I'm going to use if needed in my garden. Well, I'm going to use. I'm going to use the baking soda and neem. I'm going to use the serenade. And if needed, I have a backup with Dacanol. Hope you enjoyed the video and it gives you some idea of how to manage leaf spot, early blight, and other funguses that, or fungi that may get on your garden tomatoes. Please check out my blog at www.therestofgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.